Hello, friends and other relations, and welcome back to another episode of Surviving Block Story. Sorry, I had to scoot my chair up. Oh, yeah. Questing. Uh, quest. They're not questing. Leveling up. Well, I mean, questing's happening, but it's taking a while. Leveling up, though. That's, uh, that's important. Increase health. Increase sword damage. We're on our way to being the best swordsman this side of J. Higgs world. Okay. I feel like... Oh, this is going quite well. Come on back. Come on back. There you go. There we are. So I had something interest. I met something in I met someone interesting today. Uh, it was quite, quite the experience actually. I was taking my trash out, and uh, normally that's not exactly all that enlightening of an experience. I mean, you go outside, you put your trash bags in the dumpster, and you uh, you go back inside. Who killed me? Ashcore. How rude. How incredibly rude. Uh, anyway, so yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, normally I'm not that special of an experience. But today as I was taking my trash out, I noticed that the dumpster had a person in it. And, um, yeah, a person. I mean, he was, um, he was busy sorting through the trash. And, uh, I, uh, I, I was gonna just go to a different dumpster, because there's a bunch of dumpsters in my complex, but I felt like I should go talk to him, so I did. And it was a really cool experience. He talked about all the cool things that he found, and he really did find some really cool things. Angel Goblin, did you kill- oh, Ted killed him. Way to go, Ted. I mean, he found an iWatch, an iPhone, he talked about the time he found a laptop that was only a few months old. <laughs> it was, it was pretty impressive. He claimed that he could earn like a thousand dollars every day if he covered all the dumpsters in our area looking for stuff. I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but it was a cool experience because he was such a, I mean, he was just in such a happy mood. He wasn't a, he wasn't concerned about how his life was going or he just seemed to have faith that it would all work out. and. I have to admire that, because I, I let, I mean, I let my own fears for the future get in the way of my happiness all the time, or at least lately, a lot. <laughs> and so, it was a sobering experience for me, it was an enlightening experience for me, it made me realize um, I should be much happier and much more, like, at peace with what I have and where I am than I often am. So yeah, it was cool. Thank you. <laughs> I keep dying. I shouldn't be telling stories while I play this. It just cl it clearly causes issues. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> so yeah. Now oh, he missed me like three times. That was cool. Oh, no. <laughs> where do you think you're going? Okay, you got me that time. <laughs> so yeah. Um. Oh, and he. I, I did eventually get my trash in the dumpster, if uh, if you were concerned about that part of the story. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to skip over the most important part. <laughs> uh, you can't please some people. Oh, speaking of dragons, I went to the Denver Museum of Nature and Science today uh, with, the, with the date, and... Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, we had a good time. Um, I love museums, and the Denver Museum is really good. But they have they have an exhibit right now called the uh, uh, Mi a mythical creatures exhibit, basically. So it was all about dragons and unicorns and mermaids and garudas and nagas and hippocampi and um, you know jackalopes, fur bearing trouts, all that fun stuff. Get out of Ted, what happened? Oh, okay. Whew. I thought the I thought the dragon's wing had just cut your head off right off your shoulders. I am so sorry. <laughs> yeah, you don't care. Okay, never mind. <laughs> see, 24. Okay, yeah, we're making decent progress. Hmm. Oh, 
Some more epic swords. That's good. I'm gonna run out of them soon. 57 does not last long in this game. Ta -da -ba -ba. Come on. You can keep up with me. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Really clearly, you can. The lag makes it harder to track where I'm going. Perfect. Okay. Huh. I'm gonna eat some bread. Yum, yummy, yummy bread. Oh, how I love this bread. Oh, no! I'm sorry, Angel Goblin. I did not mean to hurt you. I am so sorry. I will put my apology in writing as soon as I have access to a pen and paper, which I do not currently have access to. I kind of left it in a box back at the waterfall, waterfall cabin. Oh, wait, I don't have a pen. There's no way to craft a pen. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby Hugo. I'm so sorry. I always try to save the babies, but I'm not always very successful. Because I can't save myself. <laughs> Respawn. It's a good thing I have a spawner. Do you ever think of your bed as that? As your spawner? <laughs> That's basically what it is, right? It's This is the J-Hig spawner. It doesn't look the same as the other spawners, but it doesn't really look like a bed anyway, so... Yeah, it might as well be. <laughs> it's a spawner. T -o. Wait. Dale! Dale! Daylight, come and me want to go home. We have no bananas today. Dead dragon. Oh, guess what else they had in the Mythical Creatures Exhum? An interview with Christopher Paolini, author of the Eric of the Inheritance series. Uh, you know, Aragon. <laughs> about dragons. They interviewed the kid about dragons. It's pretty awesome. I must say, I was quite pleased. Ashcor, why aren't you pleased? Why aren't you happy? I'm just talking about Christopher Paolini. He should be your best bud. Goodness, grumpy guts. You need to learn some lessons. Maybe you should go take the trash out next time, Ashcor. I'll, I'll let you do it. I will let you take the trash out just because I like you. Mostly because I like your wings. I think your wings are majestic and beautiful. That's pretty much it. And you're sometimes when you smile at me just the right way, it um, burns my face off. But anyway, I wasn't what I was referring to. <laughs> I'm dying so much in this episode. You think I was distracted or something? What could possibly be distracting me, Ashcore? You have such an engaging personality. Oh, how do you do that weird diagonal flying? Makes it look like you're beating your wings and moving in. It's kind of like a moonwalk. Show me the moonwalk, Ashcore! Show me the moonwalk. Normally, Mr. Skeleton would be the person I ask about this. I keep improving my health stats, and it's not helping so much. And I only have two epic swords left. Okay. You will taste the steel... That is not steel, because there's no steel in this at all. Thank you for not attacking me. I was convinced that you were about to. Okay. I have one epic sword left. That is clearly not enough to continue this battle. So, um, let's head on back to the waterfall cabin and maybe, just maybe, we can make some more epic swords. Oh, no, I can't. I need materials. I have to collect materials. Hmm. I just forget which ones. Well, while the world is loading. <laughs> what do I need again? <laughs> Wait, I didn't make epic swords. Oh, that just takes unobtainium. I'd made, um... What was it? Not the great swords. Crystal swords. I made crystal swords. So which did I run out of? The kryptonium or the unobtainium? Let me look. Oh, hi, Raven. Raven. Hey. Hey. Thank you. I need, I'll need that. Gotta make another teleporter! 
Baby Giggles, you scared me. Oh, you're not a baby Giggles, sorry. Dark Mr. Giggles, you scared me. That was rude. Anyway, I'm out of time. We'll have to figure out how to build these next episode. Thank you, friends and other relations, for watching. I'm sorry we're kind of down to two episodes a week now. I just... schedule's gotten busy. But I promise, I'm s still making episodes. But, um... Wednesdays and Fridays... <sighs> seem to it's, It seems to work better for now. Um, hopefully we'll get back to a three-episode-a-week schedule eventually. But for now, it's two episodes a week. I'm very sorry. <sighs> well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> anyway. Thank you, friends and other relations... Thank you, friends and other relations, for watching. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you go on a fun adventure, and I will see you anon. Bye!